All right, so it's starting. Welcome, what we're doing today is building a banquette. I got storage and we're basically everything is from scratch except for the um, cabinets. The cabinets I bought from Ikea and the banquette's gonna be going right there. And also we're gonna be building backing. So tufted backing. So it's gonna be a big project. I'm really excited, I love projects. I love handyman and my father is here to help. He's the resident handyman. Not resident handyman, I'm the, I'm the resident handyman but he's the one that taught me. So throughout the process, I'll just record what, I, what I'm doing and if anyone's interested, I will put instructions and uh, where I got my information from and you can watch what I do and I'll give you tips on you know, how, I'm, how I'm doing it and, and you know, see if it's good. He's making noise, he wants to be in the video. So uh, let's start. All right, so what I did is I took the two cabinets and we just connected together. And then, so these are gonna be lying down and on top, you can see the wood actually on the, on the ground there. That's gonna be the bench bottom, I guess, the, the base of the bench. And I have, you know, I bought foam and material, we'll wrap it up. So first thing was done. Make a hole watch for the bush. Yeah, watch over. Yeah, just so make sure you have pilot holes and then you just drill four screws through there. All right, so I cut the baseboard out and to fit exactly a little base. So I actually made this base here so the cabinets aren't sitting directly on the ground. So it's about an inch tall base. And so yeah, the baseboards are cut out and the base is flush with, uh, with the baseboards on each side. You yeah, and then sure. we need a little bit of space for the, the plug, so I'm sorry. We need a little bit of space for the plug, so we give it a little inch. Actually it looks like less than an inch, but whatever. As long as it's exposed, we can have it. So that's it, that's the first step. Okay, so the cabinets are attached to the wall. We've got a plate back there. Yeah, you can see it there. It's a metal plate that's gonna hold the so make sure it doesn't actually come off. So you know, I'm pulling here, it's not gonna come off. And as I said, it's not sitting, hanging off the ground. It's on a little base that I made. So that's the base of the banquette. And now right now I'm making the bench. So the bench is here. And our cute baby's right there. Oh, the seat, yeah, sorry. So the seat of the bench, I guess. So you got the board and we bought some high density foam and it's wrapped, pre-wrapped with batting and, and then I've got the material so I'll, I'll be basically doing that right now. All right, so the fabricing of the seat is starting, not starting halfway through I guess, we still have to do the corner so the, this, is, this is the actual seat itself and then the back, or I guess the bottom is this. So it's been stapled already, these are staples across. I'm gonna cut the excess fabric off so they've been stapled. Next step is gonna be to fold the corners and basically fold them up the staple. Looks good so far though, right? Let's lift it, let me see. So that's it so far. Looks, looks great so far. Oh yeah. Okay, so the base of the bench is done. The cabinets are fixed to the wall. We put the drawers in. Lovely assistant dad can <laughs> show you and actually they're close and they're nice spacious beautiful excellent. Oh yeah. Hey, and they're slow close. Just push it push 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 Flat hard push it push it hard uh -huh. Excellent, so I'm gonna do the rest tomorrow because now it's the dinner time and kids have a little bed and all that stuff so That's uh, that's enough for today, and then like I said uh, this is done and then we have this guy. Hey, hey, buddy. Morning, Who's that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you guys here too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so day two of the build. Last night, Elena and I got excited. So we were close to finishing the bench seat, and we were like, okay, we got to do it because it feels like an accomplishment's been made. So uh, the bench seat is done. So there it is. I think it looks, I'm really happy with it. I, I'm really happy the way it turned out. It's awesome. And the folds, the, I have to watch a couple of videos, but the folds turned out really well too. So I'm happy about those. So yeah, that's done. All you do is, you know, get, get some material, wrap it around, and then uh, we put a staple gun and you put staples all the, way, all the way around the perimeter, right? That's it. I doubled up the front staples because there's batting that goes all the way around to the, the front here. The back is flat because I want it to be flat against the wall. So in order to make this a little more stable or a little more secure, I put I doubled up the staples just on the front row here. And then everything else is just a single staple all the way around the perimeter. So, so that's it. So bench is done. 
So now the next step is to do the backing. So we're gonna do a tufted backing. I've got the materials are right here. There's the, the foam and it's actually gonna sit on pegboard. A little easier with the pegboard. You can put your needle and thread right through there. So it's uh, much easier with that. And you have your buttons and yeah, same material. Let's see how this one goes. So, so that's what's on the slate for day two. All right, so here we go. All right, so now we've placed the buttons in uh, holes that we think will make the most sense to do the tufted back. And we've left some space at the bottom here. You'll see here at the bottom, because it's actually gonna go under uh, or be blocked by the seat cushion. So that's it, so that's the first step. And now I'm gonna glue the um, board to the foam piece. The foam piece is right here. So that's gonna get glued. And then with magic marker or something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark the places on the foam where the holes are and then put an X-Acto knife through them that allow the thread to be able to, to go through and also to pull on it so it's tight. And then you get that, that nice tufted look on the, on the material. Okay, so we've gotten this ready to start doing the tufting. I've already glued the foam and the batting. See, there's the batting, there's the foam, and there's the wooden pegboard on the back. And on the actual pegboard, I think I'm, I showed it to you before, you can see that it's been marked off right in the center there. So that's one of them. There's a whole bunch of them that are under there. So what you have to do is basically take a needle and go through the bottom, through the material. So everything is here, needle, thread, the material and the, the buttons and then get under there and pull and get that nice tufted look and i'll hold the button down while Layla ties it under there so yeah we're going to basically start this and see where it goes okay so the first step it, is in it's really good right babe i like it yeah it looks, good. It looks amazing <laughs> all right so the first diamond's in and we're going to be going across i remember i mentioned there's six of them so we got five more diamonds to go that's awesome Okay, so the buttons are in. It actually looks really good. Like, especially the, the you know, the four squares there, like right here, the outline there. The whole, that, amazing. I'm so happy. Big, great job. Like, <laughs> our fingertips are finished. This is really tough. The buttons are the hardest part. Getting that needle through the, the holes in the back is like, tough, but honestly, it looks awesome. So proud. I'm so excited, babe. But yeah, yeah, we still have lots to do. Like it's not connected. We just put it here just to see what it's going to look like. So yeah, I don't know. I'm happy. Very, very happy. Looks great. Oh my God. I'm so excited. It's actually complete. Our new kitchen eating area is complete. The banquet is finished. We've got the new table and chairs as well. And I'm so happy to finish this amazing project yes so good yes yes Adriana right yeah are you happy now we have some place to sit right <laughs> so we got the table and chairs from Wayfair and uh, struct tube it's a combination because we need the, the, the table to be actually thin. It's not a big space here, so you know, you notice we have like a little half wall here, so the table needs to be thin. So, we found an amazing one on, on Struct Tube, and it actually also folds on each side. So, if you ever want to just make it a little smaller, we have that space saving. And then the banquette, I'll just move the table so we can see it's done. Everything's done. Staple the back, everything's tight. The buttons are great. It's elevated a little bit, so we have ample space to open and close. And there's only one thing we need to get is the, the handle for the drawer, but that's basically it. It's ready to use. Adriana's already been using it a little bit. My in-laws have used it, they loved it. So I'm very happy and proud. My beautiful wife has used it. She it. loves it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! If anyone else is interested in doing something like this, I will leave all of the information in the description box. I just checked a lot of YouTube videos, so it was, it was pretty easy, but uh, definitely a lot of people before me helped a lot. You, you want to go where? You want to go on the bench? Okay, perfect. So yeah, if you are interested in doing it, I'll leave all the links in the description box. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. See ya.